Hi and welcome back to the Expert Classroom. I'm Miss Katie and today we're going to be taking a dive into the magical digital world of Minecraft education with our expert Stephen Payne. So what does it take to be a Minecraft education expert? The platform has been built with tools to help you to take a break, to develop empathy and resilience, to better connect with yourself and with others, and provides a safe platform for us to take risks and explore the possibilities. Collaboration with other users is key. Remixes, co-construction and mashups of user-generated content is expected and celebrated in the Minecraft education world as you solve challenges and go on adventures together. Who's your Minecraft buddy? Australian students have blown us away with what they have created with Minecraft education. Some students redesign their bedrooms, others imagine what schools of the future would look like. One school even designed a new airport for Western Sydney. What have you created lately? So let's find out more with our Minecraft education expert Stephen Payne on his journey and how we can use the technology to prepare ourselves for the future. Hi Stephen! Hi Katie, thanks for having me for the expert classroom today. Thanks for joining us. So I'm wondering if you've always loved video games and how do you use gaming skills in your current job? Yeah, I, I did play video games when I was younger, but not, not as much as some people. Um, I had a few favourite games that I played with, uh, with friends. Um, I'll tell you one of my favourites was uh, a game called Lemmings. Got some similarities with Minecraft that I do a lot with. So you've got some scary big drops, lots of lava, and lots and lots of digging. I do a lot of work with Minecraft now, so there is a lot of involvement with video games. Uh, and I think it's, all the games I enjoyed were problem solving games. So rather than ones where you just had to, um, you know, kill things or um, explore, I liked ones where you actually had problems to solve. Um, and I do a lot of that today in, in my role working with schools and communities. So whether it's, um, simplifying a task or making something more environmentally friendly. I like looking at all the different parts and treating each problem as a, a puzzle um, and solving it. And it's, so if we can have fun while we are working, I'm all for that. That's really cool. So how can Minecraft education help us with what we're currently learning at school? I think there's, there's a lot of different ways, so I'll, I'll try and be brief. Um, I've, I've seen Minecraft Education Edition used for lots of different ages and lots of different subjects. So whether that's doing experiments in science or um, exploring 3D shapes and coordinates in maths, um, using coding to make a, a more sustainable town, learning foreign languages, um, looking at the books you're reading and bringing them to life, and designing a tour of your school for new students, all those sorts of things I've seen. Um, but I've really seen it come to life um, during remote learning as well this year. So for example, um, students can work in each other's worlds and they can collaborate and, and solve problems. So quite often teachers will set tasks and it's really great seeing that students have got a variety of ways they can respond to those. So some will make a poster, some might make a website, some might create a Minecraft world and then video how they've worked together and solved the problem. Oh, that's amazing. So are there things we can learn about ourselves by playing Minecraft education? Yeah, there's a, there's a really cool world called the Mindful Night that was made by the Minecraft education team. Some of you may have seen that. Um, you work through some really exciting quests in a medieval castle and you get to, in a really fun way, learn about um, managing your emotions and being self-aware and all those sorts of skills. It, and it's a really fun activity uh, to kind of develop those skills. So there's quite a few um, worlds like that. And the other thing I see quite a lot is um, leadership. So quite often uh, someone who is really great at Minecraft might not be a natural leader in the classroom, but when it comes to Minecraft they know the tips and tricks and they can take along the other students with them and also um, help the teachers. That's so interesting. And how can it help us with jobs of the future? Wow, that's a big that's a really great question and a big question, Katie. I love it. Um, am I allowed to say problem solving again? Um, I think that's one of the biggest skills that, that you need for any kind of job now and in the future. So a lot of the skills that we've talked about, um, collaboration, creativity, presentation skills, these are all things that you're going to need for 
um, for any kind of, and there was an, an activity in Minecraft where you had to actually um, train your agent or your robot within um, Minecraft to actually uh, ascertain or work out whether plants were going to be um, more likely to burn or not. So it was about protecting your um, town from bushfires by using artificial intelligence. So I definitely recommend whatever age you are, go and search for Hour of Code AI and you'll see a really great example of um, uh, how you could use AI within Minecraft. But there's also many, many technology jobs in all sorts of different fields. It's not just working for a technology company, um, a museum or a um, parks and recreation um, department. All of these different areas need technology and can use technology creatively. But what's also great is if you just look online or um, look on YouTube, you'll see more and more companies are actually using Minecraft in what they do, which is something I never thought of when Minecraft first came out. So I think all the, the, the students of today and their experience with, with video games and technology is actually going to have a, an impact in ways that we don't know yet. Okay, so what's the best part about being a Minecraft education expert? But just really, how cool is it to have a job playing Minecraft? And I really like the ability to um, bring like-minded people together because I'm in a, a special position where I can actually go to lots of different schools. I can see if two people are doing something similar, I can put them into contact and what was great can then become amazing. So I like that sort of thing. Um, and e even working across the internet now with people right across the world, uh, Minecraft is being used um, right across the world and you can take ideas that are happening in Canada and uh, adapt them to what's happening in Australia and, and learn about other communities, but also explore the similarities. So you don't have to keep um, starting from scratch, but you can build on each other's worlds and share and learn together. Who is your favorite expert and why? Real all time hero is um, a man called Alan Turing. Um, he was a, an English mathematician and computer scientist, and he died quite young um, last century, but did lots of really great, amazing things in his life that um, kind of affect how we're working now. And then after the war, he was one of the first people um, to actually develop and build a computer. Thanks, Stephen. It's great to have you in the expert classroom. So go and check out the hundreds of challenges on the Minecraft Education website. From coding to chemistry, from maths to mindfulness, Minecraft Education can help to make us safe, active and responsible digital citizens, while also giving you a leg up on your learning and showing the world your gaming skills. Is there something you're really proud of that you've made with Minecraft Education? Share your work with us and tell us what experts you'd like to hear from next at the email address on your screen. Don't forget to like and follow us. And remember, experts don't just happen. They learn, practice and share every day. We'll see you next time in the expert classroom. Bye.